rabbis are great, the learning is incredible, and the community of students uh, is very helpful as well. <laughs> They are very knowledgeable, they love their students, and the joy of the Lord just radiates from them. They know the word, and you have a community of students who are like iron sharpening iron. I'm very much excited about this because I'm uh, returning to learn Hebrew again. I tried that once on my own, trying to learn Hebrew on my own. But uh, uh, when it came to Nikud, learning Nikud and vocabulary, I gave it up. And now I'm really excited because I have a rabbi who can teach me and I can get back to him if I have any doubts. Hello my brothers and sisters, my name is Iris. And I want to take this opportunity to invite you to join Yeshiva Shuvu TV by Rabbi Shapira. It's like relearning scriptures from the beginning like you've never seen it before. Hi, my name is Anissa. Because of my love for Yeshua, I've wanted to study the Torah in depth and even the writings of the sages. But I never knew exactly how to do that until my discovery of Yeshiva Shubu. Being able to be a part of this has been such a blessing because I can study all these things and even more under the safety of rabbis, messianic rabbis who move in the Holy Spirit but who love Yeshua and who put him at all, the center of all their teachings. <laughs> Yesifat Sufu has been a great blessing for me. In the Yesifat, I can learn what it means to be crafted in to the Jewish people. This is a great school to study the flavor of Messianic Judaism. This is Jason and I'm from Australia and I've uh, been with Yeshiva Shuvu this year for about three or four months now and I've been learning so much about the Hebrew language, about the Messiah. It really touch us and, and bring us a really deep understanding, deep understanding of the principle of God, the wisdom of God, having to see Him in a different way. <laughs> As a Messianic pastor for 22 years now, I have learned to study God's Word deeply because like mining for gold, you find the bigger nuggets are not usually found just lying on the surface. And in Yeshiva Shuvu, we have been mining for gold from the very first lesson. You can fly, and you can go to Yerushalayim and I see people leaving Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim, you
everything that was creating in nature, in the, in the super, supernatural, is under his libations on the altar itself. You, and the people would cheer Shalom. and they would wave their the lulavs and etrogs. It's the last day for lulavs and etrogs. Of course, it's out here about Rashi. I have many people who come up to me when they ask me about hey, a rabbi, what's that world? Stop.